Sure. Um, the plan was just really, you know, to focus more on my culinary career, which as everyone knows, uh, I took up uh, culinary at Binild. And for the longest time, you know, it's always been a passion of mine. Although, nung mga early years ko sa showbiz, hindi talaga na-push yung pagka-chef ko. But, ayun, nung past three years, I've been doing mga gigs with Nor for sa mga SM malls, mga cooking demos. And, you know, I was realizing na parang, Sign naman yung pagka-chef ko na, you know, there are not that many chefs na which, like, yung parang I'm trying to be like a hunky chef na, you know, parang healthy-healthy na, parang ang konti lang. Why not also, like, focus on those kinds of, like, you know, yung magiging, like, anong character ko sa sa career ko. And I think, yun nga, I really thought of, you know, uh, coming to GMA to really, you know, pursue my, you know, dream of becoming a celebrity chef. But syempre, I have to focus din on, you know, the culinary lifestyle, which... I think also GMA caters to more of my direction and my path in terms of their cooking shows, their you know, um, you know, and, um, travel shows when they visit different places and try different food kinds of food. So I thought it would be the perfect place to start my new career in terms of being a chef. But also, not also forgetting yung still my acting sa mga teleserye, mm-hmm. which I still want to do pa rin on the side. You know, it's still fun to act. So I still want to continue pa rin yung acting side ko besides being a chef. Siguro, well, sa guys, it's easy kasi yun nga, talagang close friends ko sila, Rojun Cruz, sila Raver, sila Marco Alcaraz, since parang gym buddies ko sila. So, sa guys, usually, sa guys, sila. And then, um, sa girls, siguro, I don't know, it's so hard. There's so many good, talented uh, women in GMA who are, you know, uh, really good in, like, you know, acting and, like, everything. But siguro, one person that would probably appreciate, like, be a guest a cooking show. Or maybe Solen would be a good choice since she has her own like, you know, cooking techniques and cooking style. So probably Solen would be a good guest. But you know, well Alan Sigur, end of the day naman, kait naman sino mag guest as long as, you know, ma eventually the mutin tayad dun sa part na hopefully maka cooking show and whoever guests naman will be uh, will be much appreciated naman. Um, siguro I have my ideal girl now. Um, I'm in a relationship. My girlfriend is uh Maria Ozawa. And um mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're, I'm happy naman, you know, she she makes me also a very better person. Um, we've been together for the past three years and uh, it's it's fun also dating somebody from a different, well, not dating, but being with someone from a different country. You learn new values, new traits from uh, how they are in their country and, you know, we also travel a lot. We get to see different parts of Japan and try different kinds of food, which, you know, us Pinoys aren't used to because... We grew up like, especially me. I, when I say Japanese food, it's usually what, uh, like makis and um, uh, tempura, karaage, so mga basic stuff. But then, being with Maria, you know, um, she's taught, showed me a different, you know, uh, culinary side of Japan, which I really appreciate now. Na I never would have thought I would be eating these different kinds of food in Japan. But yeah, I think um, she's she's really uh, good for me, and uh, it's been a happy three years, naman. I want to bring a different flair to my kind of cooking because parang people think that I'm usually a chef that makes, you know, fancy food, you know, maybe a dish which won't be typically done at home, usually like pang restaurant. But on the flip side, you know, I want to show them that I can also cook mga lutong bahay, mga basic stuff like mga sinigang or mga tinola or adobo with a very simple twist that will make the dish so much better. So basically in terms of your question. It's just want to be like a chef that will differentiate from everyone by doing very uh, easy home-cooked meals. Pero in a way pa rin po, kahit paano, lasang, uh, how do I say, maybe lasang restaurant na at least a bit, a bit fancy, pero it still tastes yung uh, pagkalutong bahay niya. And syempre, I want to push din yung pagka-healthy ko. So since, you know, I, I, we work out a lot with my friends, you know, they also really push to eat healthy, you know, always use like, always use like you know, fresh ingredients, you know, and healthy stuff. And I think that would be my, you know, my my niche na talagang ipag-promote ko yung pagka-healthy lifestyle in terms of workout and yung sa food ko. It, it was okay naman. I mean, I was there for 10 years. So I, you know, made so many friends na rin. And, you know, um, from the bosses to the directors, sa mga EP, sa mga Star Magic staff, and mga co-artists. So I, I, I still did the proper farewell pa rin to everyone just to notify them lang that, you know, I'll be leaving. And um, yun, but it was also not naman that hard po kasi wala naman po akong contract. Uh, tapos na po yung contract ko doon. So 
you know, it was perfect timing then. And you know, they know naman na I'm a chef talaga and they really, they knew naman na I really wanted to pursue yung culinary career ko and becoming a celebrity chef. And so yun, my blessings naman sila. All of them wished me well naman and you know, and they're saying hopefully you achieve what you want to to get. So, ano naman, very supportive naman po sila. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, sir. I mean, you know, during this COVID time, especially for them, for, you know, for Miss Tracy's team and the Artist Center team to like give me a chance and to sign me, you know, it, it, it's such a big, big thing for me. It's really, I feel so, so happy. You know, I, I don't know what really adjective to describe my feeling, but you know, it's just, you know, at least I found a new home and uh, I appreciate them, you know, and uh, very thankful ako na they signed me and, you know, I just, now to moving forward i just don't let them down i really want to show them my talents and hopefully i don't uh, you know i don't disappoint I say kasi before i only were cooking ah. i mean back in the days when i was still in school pag yung chef daw malaki ibig sabihin masarap daw magluto pero pag yung chef payat daw hindi daw masarap magluto so i beg to differ from that uh, notion since um I think naman now, everyone's becoming so versatile. I think anybody can learn cooking or easy recipes on the fly since it's so easy to Google dishes. It's so easy to check on YouTube how to make a particular dish or recipe you can search. It's so easy. So, parang ngayon, sobrang dali nang makahanap ng mga recipes. So, I, it's really hard to judge a person, you know, by a book, by its cover. So, I think naman, end of the day, it's anong kalabasan ng dish. So, you could have the most you know, questionable looking person making an awesome or fantastic dish na hindi mo makalain na parang, oh, kaya niya pala gawin yan. So I think, end of the day, it's more of uh, when you try the dish and whoever makes it parang becomes a bit irrelevant. So whether naman like fit yung person or hindi fit, as long as I think masarap naman yung dish, I think yun naman po yung important. Realized, you know, more things about each other kasi nga, we weren't living together yet. It's the past two years, three years namin eh. So, you know, it, it, you, when you live with someone, if you see someone every day, talagang may mga tendency talaga na mag-aaway kayo, mag-argue kayo. And, you know, if you guys uh, know, she's half Japanese, half Canadian. So, she's a different point of view compared to us Filipinos eh. So, like, sometimes for us, tama to. Ito yung family way, ito yung proper way for us Filipinos. But for her, medyo iba. And then for her naman, for being very liberated, you know, she's been working ever since she was at a young age and she's Japanese. Sometimes for her naman, kung tama naman sa kanya, for us naman, Filipinos, who have like, you know, we have all kinds of values, parang you're like, hindi, mali yan. It can't be like that. So, you know, sometimes we really clash, but, you know, I guess it made our relationship stronger and, you know, um, yeah, I mean, we didn't really have like a big fight. More of like mga small arguments and like, Mis misunderstandings in terms of like yun nga, different cultures kasi you know I'm Filipino she's Japanese so you know small things like that pero hindi naman tipong big fights na we can't handle so kung gawin well you know one thing I think Sir Ted is you know get back to work you know whatever uh, artist center and sila Miss Tracy have planned for me you know I'm willing to do anything naman just to get you know my feet wet back again into the business and you know whether it's a teleserie, it's a cooking show, it's also a travel show, which I really want to do also, as I was saying, parang mala Anthony Bourdain, yung traveling to different parts of the country, trying food and create, giving my opinion, that would be one. Number two pa would be my bar. Uh, I have a bar here sa Paranaque called Avenue 75. So hopefully, it, you know, it, it goes back, you know, because that's also my main source of income. So... I'm praying na itong GCQ ma maging, you know, malesen yung pagiging strict so I can actually bring in people to my bar. Kasi ngayon, panay ano lang eh, take out eh, wala pang dine in. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, ibang places are having dine in na, but medyo strict here sa paranya, okay, we're always the last to like lift a liquor ban, yung curfew namin, 8 pm pa rin. But if eventually we can open like, you know, for dine in kahit mga 10 to 6 pm, malaking bagay na po yun, certain. So, you know, hopefully, yun. In terms of career, with, with you know, with Artist Center and GMA, and hopefully my bar can kind of at least a, a bit go back to the regular routine of having customers inside. Hindi lang puro takeout. Yeah, just maybe they can help me like um, promote my Instagram handle, uh, Chef Jose Sarasola. And also, um, I also have uh, my Facebook. We're starting my Facebook fan page, uh, Chef Jose Sarasola. So that would help then if you guys can put in the good word. And uh, yeah, just, you know, just willing, just ready and willing to get back to work now, you know, start the ball rolling and, you know, start doing whichever work that Sila Miss Tracy planned for me. 
And yeah, just wanna, I'm just really thankful to be here and, uh, you know, just grateful to be with Artist Center, especially during these hard times. So I just appreciate what their team, Miss Tracy's team has done for me. And um, thank you to everyone who joined me today. I appreciate the time. I'm sure you guys have other important things to do, but, you know, I appreciate you guys spending your afternoon with me and uh, hope to meet all of you soon in person. And uh, hopefully you can also come to my bar and uh, try my food at Avenue 7.